Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy, and today I've got something super special. If you are a Reason user and you're using a Behringer JT4000 or JT4000M, these units are pretty awesome. The biggest problem with them has been editing patches because you are basically restricted to free knobs to edit your patches with, and also any kind of automation because it has not been sending out automation information to your sequencer, and it can be hard to set it up to do cutoff filters and resonance. Aside from that, the other automatable parameters on this unit are not even touched. Uh, the only two that it would uh, normally allow you to automate are cutoff and resonance. However, using the power of control code or MIDI control codes, you are able to access a whole world of change possibilities on this synthesizer, making it a lot more like its predecessor, the, the JP8000. Uh, now, how would that happen? How could you possibly do that? You could use software. And since we're using Reason, because I said Reason users, we can use what uh, Reason Studios has given us, and that's called a rack extension. Let me show you what I've got here. Here we are at the JT4000 Micro Rack Extension created by me and available to you. Now this is going to be up on my Gumroad site. This rack extension allows me to completely control all the features and all the, the capabilities of this unit. It, it gives it a lot more depth and uh, also it allows me to record these different parameters into my song. So say for example I want to change uh, my ring modulation information, change the amount of ring modulation, or I want to change the tuning on an oscillator, or even want to change the oscillator, um, though that one is a little kind of wonky just because the way the operate, just the way that the synth itself works, but still, uh, these capabilities are all right here. I've mapped out every possible uh, MIDI control code device. So say for example, all right, I'm going to go, oh, one thing before I get into this, I want to show you one thing. I've got this showing the devices right now. It would normally look like this, okay? And if I play this right now, you're not hearing anything. And the reason for that is because when you get this, this is for you to know how to set this up. When you get this, you may need to click devices right here and you'll go in here and you'll it'll show this right down here and you'll get this little yellow uh, triangle. It's like, oh no, something went wrong symbol, you know? Uh, that's because right now this isn't pointing to my JT4000. It will, once I edit it and save the, the you know, the, the program, basically save the, the song, but in some cases it won't know what it is. So if you go in here and you try and play it, nothing happens, uh, and normally it would play, then what you need to do is go down here to this drop down inside of the MIDI out and select your JT4000, okay? Once I select it, there we are, my JT4000 playing through my, my uh, you know, through my mixer here. and controlled with a Yamaha montage which is kind of hysterical it's like one extreme to the other the $50 synth and the like $3,500 synth all right so now let's take a look at this you'll notice down here first of all I've got these uh these couple uh the, the ones that you would have up front on the uh JT4000 your cutoff and resonance I can adjust all my envelopes right here. The one thing is that this doesn't pick up whatever settings are on the device. You're starting kind of, whatever patch you're on, you're kind of starting clean from, if that makes any sense. Like these don't jump to the position uh, of whatever the synth has. So you kind of, you may go over here and I might go like, for example, I might uh, try and change the oscillator here and it may not take at first. There we go, because I have to actually be in the right place. Uh, if that makes sense, like say for example, you've got uh, the number on this K here is set to 60 on that synthesizer. And now I go over here and I start moving it It could take a second to make sense to the synthesizer. Once you've got it, you've got it. Once it's there and they're matched up, 
and synced up, you've got it. And now all these things can be automated in your song, which is, that's the part that was the best part of this because up till now there's been no way to record all these other options other than cutoff and resonance. And even those weren't recording through the MIDI control. So say for example, I want to, I'm gonna drop a little track right down here, nothing really crazy. All right, we're gonna do a little, little four beat uh, loop type thing. All right, we'll record a quick little something. Here we go. You can see that now these controls are just part of the whole thing. Now if I go... We just changed the oscillator. I mean, if that's not really enough to show you the power of this versus uh, just using it out of the box is, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, this thing's going to be available on my Gumroad store, and I'll put a link down in the description. You can pick it up there uh, for seven bucks right now, okay? It took a real long time to make. It's a lot of different controls, and it can really help you out with your music. By the way, one thing I want to mention, 303 Day is coming, and I have got uh, some 303 merch you'll see down below uh it's there's a mug there's a camping cup there's a t-shirt they all have the feel the energy moniker on there and uh they have my uh design of the 303 that i did myself yes i did it's an uh it's a td3 based off that but i drew it all using procreate on my ipad and then made the these cups and t-shirts you know available with that image. So if you'd like to get one, 303 days coming up, you could have it in time if you order now. And if you have something, uh, a special someone who's a synth enthusiast and you want to get them something like that for Valentine's Day, I don't know that you'll have it in time, but just saying it's available. All right, so for those of you who are still here and watch the whole video, I appreciate it. If you are one of the first three people to tell me what piece of merch I just mentioned, that was 303 day, merch on my uh, Teespring, just say 303 merch, uh, send me that message. And for the first three people, because 303 day, get it, I will send a copy of this rack extension for free. Um, it will be a slightly different skin uh, because it will say like, you know, I got mine free for watching the whole video. And that way, uh, if you just have make a video with it or show it to anybody, they'll know you actually watched the whole video and there's a reason for it. Anybody else, it'll be seven bucks. Anyway, well, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and this content was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. And I will see you next time. Be safe. Have a great day. Bye for now.